Hello Aries, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot of Mystical Moments by Katrin Wells Stein. There's a website for them. Where is it? US Games with an S Inc. Dot com. So go ahead, freeze frame there if you want to, if you're interested in that. I think it's a 2020, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a newer deck. Supportive Oracle Cards. One of my favorite decks, Spellcasting Oracle Cards by Flavia, Barbara, and Lizbeth. There's their full names, but they do have a website, shewhoisart.com. There's other websites there, too. If you're interested, go ahead, freeze frame, and use that information as you would like to. However you would like to. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Aries. Aries! Okay! All right, what do we got? <laughs> okay, what's going on? What is this? What is that? What am I doing with that? Okay. <laughs> are we, I feel like we're having a good time. Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, we are. Like, yeah! Like, I, I'm sure it's not every Aries, but I feel like a lot of Aries are a little bit sarcastic. Maybe not. Let me know. I think that many, I think it's, I think it's a lot, though. <laughs> I think Aries tend to be sarcastic, which is very fun. Um, in my opinion. Let me know, maybe not. Um, yeah, something's coming. What is it? So, did no, I feel like I'm enjoying things. Um, something's really good. It's like somebody finally gave me something that I deserve. In a good way. <laughs> in a good way. Something's coming forward, and it's not that helicopter, if you could hear it. If you love a P, I live in the country. What? Why is there a helicopter out there? Um, it's fine. <sighs> Judgment, Page of Swords. Somebody's giving you information. Now, I feel like this is purposeful. The Page of Swords is usually more of a passive energy. But this is something that's good for you. This is good and good information. It may be coming forward like somebody's just kind of, I don't know. The reason somebody's telling you something, I don't think, I don't feel like we want to go around the mulberry bush on that one, whatever that means. I don't think we want to go round and round about why they're telling you something. But information you can use is coming forward to you. Information you should have anyway. I feel like the only thing I'm worried about with this is it may be a little tainted, like somebody might be giving you good information, but with a bad reason behind it, or kind of like, they've been holding this back from you, Aries, I thought you should know, or just be careful about how it's coming towards you. Like, take the information and use it to, to your benefit. Try to step away from the details if you can. Because I'm getting this Five of Swords kind of like, there's something around it, it's a little bit manipulating, but I think it's going to fail. It's just kind of like, you have better, you could spend this time better not even worrying about it. Just, you know, because I feel like if you just are non-reactive, if you're possible, if you possibly can do that, just non-reactive the way it's coming towards you, I just feel like it's less you have to deal with that later. It's kind of like solve it and just walk, whatever. Like, I just feel like it's the way or how it's coming towards me. It's a little tainted, but yeah, just the less we can deal with it. You know what I mean? It reminds me of like working on the phones. I worked for a financial institution and sometimes I'd be called names right out the gate. I'd just say my name and all of a sudden I'd be, you'd get a barrage of names I'd be called and I'd be like, have we talked before? No, never talked to that person before. They just would kind of, and they'd go through a whole conversation where they'd be very nasty and mean the whole time. And I just, the way I handled that, which seemed to be the easiest would I just I would just listen to what they were saying and just omit all the negativity. They were calling me nasty things or saying like somebody one of my friends once got called a blue eyed devil and he was like, I don't know how they knew I had blue eyes and I thought it was hilarious. But we laughed about it after, but it's kinda like I just kinda like you might have hit something on the head, yeah, I have blue eyes. I don't have blue eyes, but my friend had blue eyes. Um but just kinda moving on, like, okay, so you got that one right. Oh well, maybe I am a blue eyed devil. Okay. Because that's how we kind of laughed about it. Just kept on moving. Just don't play into it. There's something about this. If you don't play into it, that energy just kind of fizzles out and goes away. 
Because if, if you're not going to play, you're no fun. So they're not going to play that with you if you're no fun. The whole thing is if they want a reaction out of you. And if you're non-reactive, it's just less of that ridiculousness you have to deal with. Um... Because, again, you're getting something. They are giving you something of great value. And I'm getting, is this the queen? King of, well, it's the queen, king, whatever. Don't get caught up in the gender. The energy I'm getting from this is, like, something is going to take you very far. You're going to, this is, like, some information you can take very far. It's almost like maybe the information was, like, a certain company hiring for a certain position. Or, I don't know, there's something here that's going to make sense to you when you get it. And you're going to be able to do a lot with it. It's going to be very inspiring for me, for you. It's going to be something you need to grow and go farther with, with the um, Queen of Swords. Don't get caught up in the gender, but it's like you're going to be able to build from this and create more of what you want. I just keep coming back to like the way it came towards you. Just disconnect from that. Just We don't have time for that. We've got time for success, not for that. Like, okay, thank you for the information and bye. And we just move on. We don't have – no, just walk away from it. Um because I feel like it could suck you in. Oh, I'm, I want to move on from it. But they're like, if that sucks you in, it just taints. It just causes damage. Like, how do I explain this? It's like getting that nice piece of furniture, but there's a couple scratches and bumps and rips in it. Not in very noticeable places, but you know it's there. And it's kind of like, I, I really didn't want the bumps and scratches and rips in it. I really wish it was perfect like it should have been. So if, if you... Just don't get sucked into it because it just kind of taints your success. You know what I mean? When you get something, like if you get a nice new piece of furniture, you want it to be complete and correct. You don't want to, you know, coming in with bump dents in it and rips and stuff. You know what I mean? Even though maybe other people won't see it, you'll know it's there. Even if you're hiding it with a cushion or whatever, like, you know, that stain on the, on the couch, like somebody spilled grape juice and you're like, I, I'm just going to throw a pillow in that spot so you won't see it, won't matter. Um, usually the pillows are there anyway, but we don't even need that stain to begin with, so let's not have it. Because whatever's coming in, you got the ten of pentacles and cups coming in. There's something that's going to last a long while. I think that's why we're using the furniture analogy. Usually when people buy a nice piece of furniture, it's not just for a few months. You usually keep it for quite a while, a few years, I would say. I would think <laughs> some people keep them things for a long time. And sometimes you pass it on to other people depending on what it is and how nice it is. So um, think of it that way. We don't want to get caught up in the hubbub and incur possible damage to this long-term investment you want. Walk away from it. Because whatever it is you're going to love, you're going to keep, it's going to be around for a long time. It's a lot of prosperity coming forward longer and longer and longer. You also got the success card in here, six of wands. Very happy. You're like really enjoying whatever this is, by the way. And I'm getting the home card for you. Is like It's going to be a part of your life for a long time going forward. So it may not be literally a home, but it may be something like a piece of furniture. Wherever you live, you take it with you. Keep that in mind. Um, what's up with this last piece here for the environment? First thing I'm pulling into is the King of Cups with the closure. With this new opportunity, some people are going to be leaving your life. And they might not be leaving on bad terms, but they are leaving. Um, I feel like they're just letting you know that just because a connection here is ending, it's not ending in a negative way. But there is there is some connections ending. This reminds me of sometimes when you move from one job to another. So maybe this is for some of you. And you have people you really like from the, the job you're leaving. And you try to keep those connections going. I feel like what they're saying is like, you know, what was, 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 was. What, what was, was, was. At what? Okay. What it was is what it was. I'm not saying it right. I'm still not getting it right. The connection is going to pass. It's going to go. Some there is give it proper closure. If if you're leaving a connection with a job and there's a couple people or one person maybe that you really liked, plan for something like maybe plan a trip and hang out on that trip and look forward to that trip. But realize that 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 connection is going to kind of like your lives are going to go in different directions. Sometimes it doesn't matter if we like it or not. We may stay connected on on social media, but we may not know each other as well going down the road. You know what I mean? Like, 
especially if you look back like in high school and stuff like that. Like there's people I knew in high school that now I really, I know of them still, <laughs> but I don't know them anymore, if you know what I'm saying. Um, connections change. I don't know, th I feel like for somebody that's going to make sense, maybe a few of you, like what you need to do with that and just maybe make peace with it or something and just like make a one final great memory with them. Not like they're passing away, but just kind of like that last hurrah where we can really enjoy one more great time together. Um, I feel like this is an energy that's very giving to you, by the way, but there's something new coming in. One goes out, somebody else comes in. That's another reason this energy is switching. You know, you're only one person. The last, whatever connection was that this, this person seems to be connected with this last connection. When this new connection comes in, more people are coming in that you're going to connect with. You're losing the King of Cups, but you're gaining the Nine of Pentacles person here, which is talking about the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody long-term coming in, somebody that's going to be very good for you, somebody's very stabilizing. Somebody that's very fun. I feel like this is a good connection for you, but I feel like they might be that sounding board, like, before we do that, how about we think of this? They might be that, that one. Seven of Swords and Confidence. This is somebody who helps you keep what's yours and make sure that nobody else takes it. There's a new person coming in. So the King of Cups is leaving. Somebody stabilizing who wants to make sure that like you keep what's yours and you help them keep what's theirs. It seems to be a fortifying energy. Kind of like, you know, I'll look out for you, Aries, and make sure nobody takes your stuff. You look out for me, Aries, and make sure nobody takes my stuff. And between the two of us, we'll have success in a long, we'll have perpetual long-term success here that nobody's going to damage. Whew. So, if I'm going to recap this real quick, information comes to you in maybe not the best way. Step away from whatever that is. Just take the information, leave the rest behind. Don't get caught up in that. When you take this new situation, there is somebody leaving, somebody very good leaving. Accept it and do what you need to do with it. Somebody new is going to be taking that position. They're going to be very, very good for you as well. So the next one seems to be more about stabilizing. I look out for you. You look out for me energy. Um, and I feel like you're good with that. Like, that's fair. I'll look out for you. You look out for me. Yeah, we're cool. I'll do that. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I don't have to worry about my stuff when I'm gone because you're looking out for it. You don't have to look out for your stuff when you're, when you're gone because I'm going to look out for it. So we're just, you know, watching each other's backs. Cool. I can do that. Um, so it seems like a double thing, like something really good coming in, but also players are changing, but a good one, losing a good one, gaining a good one. Are we good? Good. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below as well. Same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.